Hey everybody, Paul here with an explanation of why I'm standing in front of McDonald's. You know, our bodies have really had to learn to evolve very quickly in the last 50 years. I mean, food never was so processed as it is now. There are so many problems with no nutrition in food. There's so much problems with the, the nature of our environment, with toxins and all of these things so I want to start with my story because I want you to benefit from it we always share things with our friends and you know I got interested in fasting for example because my my uh, grandfather and grandmother used to do it every Friday and for years and so I thought well why would they do something like that and you know it was for their reasons which were to you know detox their body you know give their digestion a rest and just so they can operate function at a higher level and uh, so I got interested in that I thought okay maybe I'll try that and so that's how my whole process began you know I tried not eating and uh, see how that went it was very very difficult I didn't know what I was doing and then I graduated to maybe three days of not eating and then five days and then ten days a different time and then I got to the point where I could do 30 days and you'd say well why would somebody want to do that well let's use McDonald's again so here we have a McDonald's cup cup of coffee and the thing is it's got a cover on it and you don't know what's inside there obviously it's supposed to be coffee Take your body as a good example uh, similar to that. Your body is supposed to have very good functioning organs inside, work very efficiently, and heal itself, fix the problems, all of that stuff. Yet, people everywhere are falling apart. Now yesterday, I was at a wake, and somebody who I hadn't seen for three years said, oh my God, you look younger than the last time I saw you. Now what's amazing is, as you know, I'm 50 years old and for me to come off younger at this point in my life than I was three years ago is pretty amazing. So I said obviously thank you, but I started thinking about that. It's because of what I do, these little investments of fasting and some of the other things I do. So back to the cup. So, you know, <laughs> you breathe in a little toxin here or there, you eat something that doesn't have the strongest nutrition, maybe some uh, processed food, and you know, it's like putting a little bit in the cup. No big deal. But then over time, you start really filling up that cup, and once the cup gets full, like I said, you don't even see what's in there. All you know is how it makes you feel. And so, you end up not having energy, you end up getting sick, you end up getting older, and some people end up with serious problems so we don't want that to happen to you so what we want to do is empty the cup so I'm going to explain how that happens in this next segment but I just want you to know that when I started sharing the story of my fasting people got interested because they knew deep inside that they had to do something different what they were doing wasn't working so I got a group of people and they did it and you know what they said to me this has been one of the best experiences in my life uh, because obviously they got results but it's about feeling and they felt better so we're gonna talk all about that in the next section but you know I do one of these long fasts every year and so now it's time for me to do it and I thought I would Let's wait for the truck here thought I would invite you along this, this, this journey and if you want to become a part of it, great. If not, you want to watch and see what happens, great. I would recommend doing it because results are really going to be the thing that you're going to care about. You know, if someone tells you one thing, that's one thing, but when you're experiencing it for yourself, that's another thing. So I'll be right back. I'm going to explain what's going to happen with the fasting and uh, see you in a second.